I wanted to ask you are two illustrious persons uh, who have been well recognized in your own respected careers. And I was hoping that you could talk to us about how you met, what attracted you to each other, and what is it like to collaborate together on okay. new projects. And you start slowly, inch by inch. Go ahead. Um, there was a school. We both were at the Harvard Graduate School of Design. I was uh, in landscape architecture, and Peter was one of the first students in uh, planning at Harvard. And uh, there was a school picnic. 1945-46. There was a school picnic, and the school picnic was at Walden Pond. And a friend of mine said to me, Cornelia, you have that station wagon from your mother's farm. You pick up Harry Sider, who became a star architect in Australia, Fred Bassetti, who was one of the great promoters of regional architecture in Seattle, the state of Washington, Paul Rudolph, who became head of the school of um, architecture at Yale and did very many wonderful buildings in Florida, and Peter Oberlander. And I picked them all up and loaded them into the station wagon. However, I was living with an aunt of mine in Cambridge uh, because my mother didn't think I should have my own apartment mm -hmm. and I was an au pair there. And she said, uh, Aunt Frieda brought this cake from New York, you take it to the picnic. Mm -hmm. And I said, no, Aunt Frieda brought you the cake, I can't do that. However, this aunt uh, bundled it up and loaded me with, the, with it into my car. So here I was picking up all these luminaries, and we went to Walden Pond. Future luminaries. Hmm? Future luminaries. <laughs> <laughs> and we went to drove out to Concord and Walden Pond. And it was after the war, and many of the students at Harvard were much older, had children, and were war veterans, and they were very serious. But Peter was the only one who skipped stones with me on Walden Pond and skipped over tree trucks. Was it love at first sight? Yeah. I don't know, but he was very, very frolicky. <laughs> and uh, it was love over the cake. That's the important thing. The cake was yes. the one? That yes. one cake. You tell what it was. Very special cake, which my mother used to make and grandmother. It's a Viennese specialty called Kugelkopf. And when I saw that, I <laughs> said, how come you got that? <laughs> And uh, <coughs> that's how we started. So, so it was Walden Pond and the marvelous cake with raisins in it. And over that we became friends. And that has lasted for almost 60 years. But now we didn't see each other. That was October 12, 1945. Mm -hmm. We didn't see each other because at Harvard, there was Professor Martin Wagner. You look him up, please. Mm -hmm. The great luminary in city planning. He was city planning director of Berlin. And when the Nazis came, mm -hmm. he escaped to Ankara. Mm -hmm. However, when President Conant was searching for a head for architecture at uh, Harvard, uh, he went to Professor Gropius, who was then in England, and Gropius said, I will only come to Harvard if I can bring Martin Wagner. Mm -hmm. Now Martin Wagner's English was below par, and he found out that Peter could speak German. Mm -hmm. And so Martin Wagner asked that Peter come every morning at 8 o'clock to midnight to his office to study. Mm. And that's why Peter knows so much. <laughs> and I never saw him until March 1946, when he asked me 
uh, when he asked me uh, out to a movie. I will come to you, by that time I was with a roommate in an apartment, no more au pair. Uh, and um, he came to my door of the apartment, it was at 8 Plimpton Street, right off Massachusetts Avenue, and knocked on the door. He stood there with a T-square under his arms, a satchel full of pencils and other goodies, and uh, a drawing board. And he said, Cornelia, if you help me for two hours, uh, we have to do a plan for the town of uh, Framingham, project management type plan of sewer installation, road installation, digging for the basements and everything. Uh, if you help me for two hours, we'll go to uh, the late show of the movie. And the movie was called You Can't Take It With You. So it took you several months to muster the strength to ask Cornelia out, and you even had an no, alibi. But, but yes. Dr. Uh, Barton Wagner wouldn't let him go. No, the oh. point was that I was a very serious student, obviously. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I skied every weekend. And mm -hmm. uh, Cornelia was doing other things. and uh, But ultimately, uh, I had this idea that I was going to see you with her. I can see her again around the work that I had to do. Uh, Martin Wagner was a very tough taskmaster, but whatever I do know, it's due to him. And that's an acknowledged f fact. So when did you get married? And oh, I'll tell married? you, no, Later. sorry. So anyway, uh, we uh, collaborated on this project. It turned out 48 hours it took us to do this project management business because in those days we didn't have a computer. We had to calculate how many hours does the bulldozer need to do the roads? How many hours does it take the paving? How many takes to do the sewer? <laughs> two hours straight, uh, two days straight, no sleep. And my roommate was furious because we were getting rather keenly over this. And at five minutes to ten, we ran with the boards, which are mm -hmm. display boards, to Hunt Hall, where they would be hung and discussed the next day. So that was the first collaboration, and it was really good. We liked it. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> well, I'm concerned. And it, so we it finally took many got years. married. Afterwards, Cornelia and I graduated, she worked, I worked, and then we met again. Mm -hmm. And you got married in what year? 53. 1953. January 2nd. Have 53. you lost count of the projects you have collaborated together when yes. you were husband and wife? No, not quite. They are highlights, please. Okay. One of them is Banff, closing mm -hmm. Banff Avenue. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we were fired over that three times. He, Peter will tell you. Fired. Last time was 1976. They didn't want to close Banff Avenue. They want cars there. They're so chock full nuts of cars there that they don't see anything else. But one of the best collaborations was the Kona Coast. Uh, the, Peter got uh, the job to the work on the Bishop Trust land from Kona uh, to the City of Refuge. And we developed that into a town of leisure. That was a fantastic collaboration. That's 64. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we had others. Kamloops, for instance. People love that a wonderful mm -hmm. stage set it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.